So alien messages and have we made contact yet? I don't even think we need to answer that. I think we all know the answer to that question deep down. At least a lot of us just don't want to say it. Don't want to listen to ourselves, but we know alien messages and contact. Have we? So this video here is alien messages found by NASA decoding it changed everything. Is it possible that this incredible story of a naval battle with extraterrestrials? A mysterious radial signal from a distant constellation defies explanation. Are you ready to dive into the world of aliens? We will be honest, it is going to be a pretty wild ride. I've managed to track down three primary witnesses who reportedly saw the live aliens. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. Number one, the wow signal. Back in 1977, a bizarre signal was detected by 1977. Keep your dates in line, all right? Just, just 1977. Here's an account. The Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope. Since then, the signal has the world trapped in curiosity. Was it really a message from the aliens? Some people think that the signal is a hoax, while others are adamant that it came from the aliens. And here's why. Ultimately, the wow signal says only a scant bit, providing there was actually no modulation present. It says that some aliens out there have a radio transmitter and are capable of doing science and know about the hydrogen line. The big ear had two horns that detected signals three minutes apart from each other. The wow signal was only caught by one horn. That means it was switched off when the other horn scanned the same area in space. Astrophysical signals do turn on and off, but only for a couple of seconds. This one lasted for 72 seconds. Scientists have tried to find a signal like that again. That would have hinted that it is an astrophysical signal, but there hasn't been a lot of ground to dig. Robert Gray, who spent his whole life decoding the WOW signal, argues that the signal has an extraterrestrial origin. In his last documented work, he proved that the signal was random and had only like a 30% chance of popping up on the telescope. What do you think it is? Number two, mummified aliens. In Mexico, there was a discovery so shocking that it left the scientists puzzled. Two humanoid bodies were unearthed that were around three feet in height and only had three fingers. Unlike human mummies, these corpses had noses. Most of all, these bodies were found buried deep in the desert of Nazca. The same Nazca that's popular for its alien-like towering figures only seen up from the air. This was just the initial results. The things revealed later were just as shocking. One of the mummies had eggs in her body and was reported to be a female. Both the mummies had straight lines for fingerprints unlike the whirls and swirls found on a human fingerprint. But here is the most fascinating part. The researchers claimed that the bodies do not have human DNA and the bodies are about a thousand years old. There is more research to be done on these mummies, but by the looks of it, I think we are all thinking the same thing. Number three. I'm thinking what happened to those eggs. That's what I'm thinking. So somewhere there's a laboratory and, and those eggs are in there and they're extracting some, if possible, some type of DNA or something, and are they either growing or trying to, I, I don't know, but we need to figure out what happened to those eggs, man. Seriously. The missing piece of a spacecraft. In Romania, construction workers stumbled upon something strange. Buried deep under the sand were a few mastodon bones. You'd think that alone was a massive find, but wait, there was one more thing, a wedge-shaped object that was so peculiar that archaeologists still cannot explain it. Scientists think that it is at least 1,000 years old. It makes this element an impossible find. Humans didn't start working on aluminum until the 1800s. Aluminum was not invented at the age when we presume this was in use. Here is where it gets really interesting. An aeronautical engineer claimed that the object looked like a piece of landing gear for a vertical aircraft. After hearing that, 
experts think that this object might be a part of a spaceship that was left behind on Earth. Number four, the grave of an alien. The Aurora Cemetery in Texas claims there is an alien buried there. The Roswell incident is pretty famous. It is believed that an unidentified object crashed on Earth and there were hundreds of witnesses, but the government quieted down the incident really quickly. While the public was busy figuring out whether the authorities were hiding something, here is what the people never asked. Was there anyone in that UFO? Turns out there was a humanoid body that was spotted by hundreds of people back then. They're so good at doing that. They're so good at doing that, man. Making us look at something else, opposed to dissecting what happened here and, and questioning and, and different things. They're so good at just diverting the attention somewhere else, bro. You couldn't even think about, oh, well, maybe it's something inside and what happened to it? Let's look inside. No, because they, they, they move your mind to something else. They divert your attention somewhere else, bro. Good. They're good. They're good. The supposed alien was given a burial and put down into a grave in this very cemetery. The grave remains unmarked since the tombstone was removed a while back. Only a few people know where the actual grave is at the cemetery. Number five, the mysterious golden hat. I know they don't look like it, but these are actual hats that were worn by lords of the ancient civilizations. But here's the catch. People think that they were used to contact aliens. These hats have weird but intricate patterns. When researchers studied the hat, they found that it had a complex mathematical table stamped on it that was probably used to calculate the cycles of the sun and the moon. This hints at the fact that the ancient people knew more about the world than scientists initially thought. That's not all. Ancient people were quite fond of gold and they weren't shy of using them. But were they only using it to flex their wealthy status? Experts think there was more to it. Gold is a great conductor of electricity. It is one of the best conductors there is. The other thing that's very important about it is that gold is an inert material. It doesn't react with anything. These hats being conical would only amplify the incoming signal. They believe that the ancient people used to communicate with aliens using these gold hats. Is that how the ancient people got a small chunk of their advanced knowledge from aliens? That is what a large group of people believe. Number six, the biggest me- See? It's either the offerings or our resources. That's why I think they're here. We have something on this planet, whatever it may be, but we have something here that they possibly are looking for and can't get no other place. That's why I believe they're here. Meteorite. Back in 1902, a meteorite was unearthed by an explorer, but it was nothing like the other meteorites. This one was massive. The Willamette meteorite was the biggest in the region, but that was not the strangest thing about it. When the explorer found the meteorite, he thought it was a boulder. When he struck at it, a loud ring-type noise echoed into the air. It took days to dig this meteorite out of the ground. Over time, the meteorite has changed a lot, but experts are still baffled about its origin. Many people think that this meteorite was brought by aliens on Earth. Here's why. The meteorite was completely intact. Plus, no known impact crater has been discovered to date that can connect with the Willamette meteorite. And to add more to the mystery, a Native American tribe had a long history of interacting with this meteorite. They thought that it had healing powers. It all makes it highly possible that someone intentionally brought this space rock here. Number seven, spaceship on Earth. A popular radio host once received a mysterious package at the station. It had a few letters and a couple of fragments tucked inside. The sender claimed that his grandfather had snatched a few fragments from a broken spaceship after it crashed. People were ready to discard it as a hoax, but decided to send the fragments to the lab. What they found was pretty shocking. A single piece had multiple layers of metal, and a few layers were of magnesium and bismuth. When the experts were asked about this strange composition, they had some wild claims. They said 
that putting magnesium and bismuth together was not practically possible. If anyone tried, they would come apart. Later, a lot of experts claimed that these metal fragments came from the same UFO that crashed at Roswell. Number eight, the mysterious symbols. There are multiple caves around Europe that all have something similar. When the scientists put their heads together, they found that all the ancient art in the deepest ends of the caves had around 30 symbols being used repetitively. They believe that the people all communicated with one another using the same language, even back then. Just like we are connected with the internet today. But did the ancient symbols mean anything? Did they have extraterrestrial origins? They aren't clear, but there are some people who are set on that. Number nine, hieroglyphics and aliens. There are a lot of people who believe that the hieroglyphs and petroglyphs came from aliens. If you look at hieroglyphs, you'll find the ancient Egyptians telling a story about how they were given knowledge. They didn't learn it, but were offered the gift of language. Experts think that they might be right because the language is written with a lot of precision. The symbols of some animals are the same as the ones found in petroglyphs that are only comprehensible if seen up from the sky. Experts think that an object coming at a blazing speed from the sky and landing on Earth. Inside were aliens that gifted them this advanced language. What's interesting is that the shape of the object is very familiar with the first model of the Apollo 11. There are even reports of witnesses seeing hieroglyphs on the UFO that crashed at Roswell. Could it all be true? Number 10, the alien comet. Back in 2017, a strange object entered our solar system. It passed close to the sun, and experts knew it came from a different planetary system. So, all eyes were on it. But it made the startling discovery even more fascinating when it jumped off with a blazing speed when it left the solar system. This was quite unusual because comets move at a slower speed after interacting with the sun's gravity. That's not all. The object looked nothing like a comet. It was an irregular cigar-shaped elongated object, about 10 times longer than it was wide. Experts also think that it is rotating at more than one axis. This all points to the fact that it might just be an alien spacecraft that came from interstellar space. Nobody knows where it came from or what it was made of. It only passed by our solar system, leaving us wandering with questions. Number 11, the strange alien artifacts. In Texas, a couple stumbled upon something that couldn't possibly exist. They found a prehistoric hammer that still had its handle intact. Upon closer inspection, the scientists found that the hammer was over 140 million years old. Who was even here at that time? Another artifact was soon found all the way in Egypt. It was a small dagger buried in the treasures of a tomb. But it wasn't any dagger. It had a small crystal knob and a golden handle. This was two centuries before Egyptians could have molded iron to build such a dagger. It was later found that the iron was not even from Earth. It was meteoric iron, and anybody who has made objects from meteoric iron knows it isn't an easy feat. To see, this is why it's important for us to see and hear about this stuff, because they can't lie about that. They can't lie about that history. They, want, they don't want us to know it. See, if we, if we don't know about it, we can't ask questions. We can't catch them in a lie. We can't prove them wrong. See, this right here allows us, gives us the advantage to be able to prove them wrong. <laughs> yeah, you can't refute the evidence. You can't. To add more to the mystery, the dagger wasn't designed with the conventional methods we know today. It showed no such signs. The experts took the matter to hieroglyphs and made an astonishing discovery. The art showed that the Egyptians learned the art of molding metal from a god, but that same figure had a green face. Number 12, the alien encounter. Not more than a year ago, a large number of people saw a green fireball erupt into the sky, but there was more than just a meteor hitting the sky that night. A frightened family called 911 and reported something bizarre. 
they claimed that they saw aliens, about 10 feet tall, in their backyard. Upon closer inspection, they saw a massive circle on the soil. The boys claimed that it must have appeared after the spacecraft landed near their house. They were rigid over the fact that they saw aliens at their house that day, even though the whole world is calling it a hoax. But here's where it gets interesting. The story got the government interested too. A lot of men in black suits and ties were seen roaming around the house a few days after the incident. Nobody can confirm if the family actually saw aliens, but that's what they are claiming. What do you think? Number 13. Secret Alien Spacecraft The Mount Wilson Ranch was quite famous for its alien nature. Many experts think of it as the place where a spacecraft is buried. Even Bigelow, a pretty famous UFO hunter, was quite fond of this location. So, a bunch of curious enthusiasts went down to the location. They used the same setup as the one used by Bigelow and found something peculiar. Under the ground, they received a strange signal. When they sent the same frequency back underground, the signal got stronger. Then sending a signal on the same low frequency may be the best way to communicate with whatever might be buried 200 feet below them. The team couldn't help but be shocked about it. Whatever it was down there, it was trying to talk to them. The team believes that it is a secret spacecraft that the government might have buried there. Bigelow also abandoned the location after a while. Was he sent back forcibly? It remains unclear. But one thing's for sure, there is something peculiar going down at Matt Wilson's ranch. Number 14, the mysterious alien technology. Back in 1947, there was reportedly a battle that took place between the US Navy and aliens. A couple of soldiers witnessed seeing aircrafts that traveled from the North Pole to the South Pole within seconds. In 2018, a couple of scientists found proof of that statement. There was a condensed cloudy trail that is usually left by jets in the sky, but this one was pretty peculiar. It went all the way from the South Pole to the North Pole. Battle with extraterrestrials and encounters with craft capable of flying from the South to the North Pole in an instant. That distance is easily 12,000 miles and rarely a trail lasts more than 15 minutes. The only explanation was that the aircraft was traveling at such a blazing speed that it left a steady trail behind. Do you think the soldiers were right? Did they actually fight extraterrestrial beings? Is there a spacecraft that roams the Earth but has kept a long lost secret? I'm afraid we can only ponder on questions for now. Number 15, the Mayan link to aliens. In Mexico, there are ruins or an ancient Mayan city. But these ruins have given scientists a lot of clues to a possible alien encounter. In the ruins, there stands a temple that is unlike any other thing you'll see today. That temple hosts a light show on the 21st of September and 21st of March. When the sun rises, there is a trail of small triangles that go down the stairway of the pyramid. In the early morning, you see the sun rising up, and while the sun goes, goes up, you see on the stairway, light and shadow. In another temple, deep in the tunnels, there was another strange hieroglyph. It showed a lord on what looked like a rocket ship. Some experts claim that the lord himself was an alien, while others think he was transported to space with the help of aliens. Whatever it is, the Mayans gave us small clues about how they definitely had some link with extraterrestrial beings. Number 16, the strange metallic sphere. A family found the weirdest object on their land. When they picked it up, they had no clue what was going to happen. The metallic sphere was as weird as it could get. It did not have any slash, cuts, holes, or any sign of dent. It looked like an ordinary ball, so the family brought it home. When the bet sphere was rolled across the ground, it would roll away, stop, vibrate, and then change directions. The family noticed that there was a small hum coming out of the sphere. It only intensified at the sound of the guita. But here is where it gets interesting. Naturally, the government got interested in the object. They found three small spheres connected with wires 
at the center of the metallic sphere. They couldn't figure out what it was or didn't want to tell it, but they claimed that it was made by men. A few years later, the family took the sphere and halted the line of questioning. Since the sphere was back with them, the story ended there, and nobody could figure out what it was. Do you think it has an extraterrestrial origin? Number 17. I would definitely think that's extraterrestrial origin. And the way it's moving, it's like it's studying us. It could be studying us from that sphere, sending information back to wherever it came from. And we just sitting here just, just looking at it, and it's gathering all type of information. Like, we got to do better, man. Like, we, we so quick to write something off, it scares me. The Sumerian tablets. These tablets have long been under controversy. What's strange is that the figures on the tablets are wearing these strange astronomical signs and working with technology that wasn't possible 6,000 years ago. But that's not all. The tablets also show a bunch of figures who are quite fond of gold. They want to scour Earth and bring gold back to their home planet. Gold is known to be a great conductor of electricity. Did they want to put it in their technological devices? Did the ancient people work with aliens to hunt gold? It remains a big mystery. Number 18, the ruins of Tibet. There is a valley hidden deep in the mountains of Tibet that holds a peculiar history. The ruins of Guj Valley have been left to a pile of rubble. They were abandoned long ago by its people, but what nobody knows is why they left the city. You will find a lot of art there that shows the city was thriving. Then why did they leave all of a sudden with no clue behind? Experts and locals both believe that the whole city went on a pilgrimage to the center of the earth. Interestingly enough, scientists have found a hidden network of tunnels that runs deep underground. Some think they lead to an ancient alien city, while others think it is a portal. Could there be an alien city deep underneath the mountain? Did the people of Guj Valley abandon their homes to go live with the aliens? I guess we will never know. Number 19, the devil. Back in 1996, Brazil witnessed a strange incident. Three girls were on their way to some place when they found a bizarre figure up close. It was four feet tall and had three horns on its head. There was not a single hair on its body and it had bulging red eyes. She saw uh, a little creature that was really sweating. It was like a little uh, person but with no hair whatsoever, red eyes and three horns. The girls were between the ages of 14 and 22. They saw the strange creature and ran with their feet backwards. The trio reported the incident at home, calling the creature a devil. Here is where it gets really fascinating. In the same region of Brazil, there were tens of witnesses that came out and claimed to have seen the same creature. What do you think they saw? Number 20. Are octopuses really aliens? A lot of people firmly believe that aliens left behind a part of themselves in the form of octopuses. If there was ever a creature that I could be like, you know what? Yeah, that... It's an octopus for sure, for sure. These animals are pretty advanced. They create their own homes and can use their own RNA. Plus, their appearance is most like an alien, stretching into tentacles that they use to move around the water. Here... Think about this as well. If you open up a spacecraft, what do you think you'd see inside of it? Something that looks like what? Exactly controlling everything in the front, the back, the sides, all his arms, doing everything, uh, controlling everything inside of it with the controls. All of the arms. Like, if there's ever something, it's that to me, for sure. Is where it gets interesting. A lot of hieroglyphs show. The ancient Egyptians mingling with the octopus. Could it be that the extraterrestrial beings had a race of octopuses? Did they create hybrids that were left behind on Earth? It remains a looming mystery. Number 21, life in meteorites. Recently, 
scientists stumbled upon an amazing discovery. They believe that they have found life in rare space rocks that are over four billion years old. Experts think that these meteorites might have carried extraterrestrial beings and other bacteria from other solar systems to Earth a long time ago. It seems like the perfect vehicle. It has a layer of dust and a layer of icy protection that must have shielded the bacteria from the obstacles in space. The space rock would have landed on Earth and given a new home to these microorganisms. The experts also think that our DNA might give us the same clues. The remainder is an undecipherable code, once referred to as junk DNA. As modern technology is slowly showing, DNA is a useful tool for storage. Could it have stored some secret information that we might decode in a few years? Only time will tell. Number 22. The Keyhole Dilemma A scientist found a strange object on Mars that can be traced back to Earth. While he was sifting through the images of the red planet, the man stumbled upon a weird structure in the shape of a keyhole. He initially believed that either humans or an extraterrestrial race might have built this structure on Mars. But here is the thing. Upon a closer inspection of the structure, experts found something similar here on Earth. Do you think aliens had something to do with this? The ancient people of Japan also shared similar beliefs about how they interacted with an intergalactic being. Do you think they met with aliens and conjured up these tombs? We can only ponder. Number 23. The Secret City Under the Himalayas there are many UFO hunters that believe the Himalayas host a secret alien city underground. There are a lot of clues that hint at that statement. Take the Amanath Cave, for example. A large number of Hindus travel all the way to the top of the mountain to pay respect to a shrine. They believe the cave holds some healing powers that can enlighten them. An ice lingam, which they believe is a physical manifestation of his generative power. The travel up to there is nothing short of dangerous, yet they go there despite the harsh conditions. Similarly, the sky caves in Mustang have hundreds of man-made caves. You can only travel there through vertical shafts, but the entrances are all there, visible to the naked eye. What's not visible is the tunnel that leads to the alien city but experts think that it is hidden somewhere deep in those tunnels. They even think that a portal might be somewhere buried here that takes you to meet the extraterrestrials. What do you think? Number 24, the object that ran. An official from the Pentagon, Louis Elizondo, made some wild claims recently. He believes the government is secretly working on alien technology that he has never seen before. It intelligently changed directions as if it knew why it was being studied. This fragment is assumed to be made of meteoric iron. The doctor reported multiple times about how it kept moving away from him. What do you think it is? Number 25, life on Mars. The Gale Crater on Mars is one of the most controversial topics to date. Scientists believe that they have found life on Mars thanks to the Gale Crater. It hosts a multitude of tiny organisms that look a lot like algae and bacteria that we see around on Earth. There is a lot to be studied about the Gale Crater, but it has already sparked a debate among the scientific community. Is it so bad to think that life could still exist on the Red Planet? That's all, folks.